Not exactly ideal baseball conditions with the rain coming down, but first pitch is just around the corner. Tonight, it's an NL Eastern Division showdown between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. Alongside Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa and Danny, as pitching matchups go, it doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well, Matt, these are two of the best in the business, two guys that throw a lot of strikes, and if their game is on, we should have a very low-scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. The Braves have won 14 straight games so far. We'll see if they can extend that to 15 next. Charlie Morton, a right-hander from the Garden State of New Jersey, gets the ball here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, this guy also uses that pitch that's kind of in vogue in the game now, that cutter. It looks to the hitter like a four-seam fastball, and the next thing you know, it's running in on you. Mariano Rivera used that pitch exclusively in the ninth inning and broke a lot of bats, and this guy joins a long list tonight. of of guys that have added the cutter the to his repertoire. So now here is JT Real Muto. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. No contact on the sinker there and he's behind 0 and 1. The boys these Braves as they take the field here tonight. All you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Hey, thanks, Matty B. Hey, D-Row, we've got a couple First of teams hit. playing some good baseball Seven right four. now. Unfortunately, a winning streak for one of these teams is going to end today, but, boy, this is a great matchup here. Yeah, I'm excited to call this one with you two guys, definitely. The two teams playing top of their game right now, really playing well. Both come in on winning streaks. We're going to see who's able to execute in this one. The 1-1. One, one is looked at for ball number two. That's the heavy sinker right there. He has the ability to get ground balls when he needs them, potential double play situations, or to get that jam job with no one on base, that tapper right back to the pitcher. One of the toughest pitches to hit in the game. Hit on the ground out to short. Swanson picks it up. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. The right field, number three, right. Harper. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Bryce Harper comes in hitting just a hair below 300 this season. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. No, that missed. That's the ball. One ball, no strike. The 1 0. Misses for the second ball. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Earl Hendricks. Hey, d -Row, Earl Hendricks, he, he's not a guy that gets a lot of complaints by either players or pitchers. He's a pretty good umpire. Yeah, Dan, Earl's got a great track record in his sport. He's pretty consistent, and overall, he's been a fair umpire. Two and one now. Into the windup and the pitch. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. Reese Hoskins will be next. The three and one pitch he is swung on and missed a full count now in my opinion one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up just a heavy sinker with good downward action and a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away to me when it's raining the approach at the plate that has to change a little bit especially if you're a guy that can run a little bit put the ball in play any way possible especially on the ground making plays in the rain becomes exponentially tougher to do when it's wet so these offenses really need to limit the strikeouts next to bat will be Reese Hoskins as he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one he comes in with that average down in the 240s eight home runs 18 driven in one ball and one strike to the Phillies first baseman. Down. 
and he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one two three at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that and he's even got himself into a good hitters count now three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. And it's fouled away. He'll try it again three and two. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two out walk. Batting four, the left fielder, number 22, Andrew. Runner at first with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. He's set, and the pitch. No, that's up. One and no delivery. Yeah. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. The one two. No, that's inside. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Now McCutcheon belts one carrying well to left field and this one will bounce into the wall. The relay and he'll get in there safely. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Here's Didi Gregorius as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. Hachin is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Phillies leave a couple. It's the Phillies nothing. Braves coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Aaron Nola is ready to go as he's on the mound for the Phils. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy has a four pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft, you can go in and out, and anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw for strikes, you have place. the big advantage. Now at the, the right plate field. here is Ronald Acuna. Acuna. He'll lead things off here Acuna. in the bottom half of the first. The pitch. These Phillies as they enter play here tonight fellas all you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run Maddie this is the best team in baseball right now I, I mean just a double digit winning streak that I mean maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot this team is rocking in all facets right now and they're a fun watch yeah the rain starting to intensify here it's coming down a little heavier now we'll see how much longer the umpires can wait well you could say that again Matt. it's raining cats and dogs out there make sure you don't step in a pool I think it's time to get the grounds crew out that is second. the first baseman ready three man So next up will be Freddie Freeman as the first pitch sinker misses to him. It's ball one. He'll enter play here with that average down in the low 200s. Seven homers, 18 driven in. Here's a look over to first and the runner back safely. Nobody out runner on first. Ball and a strike now to the Braves' first baseman. 
you could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. From the belt, kicks and deals. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. All even now, two and two. Acuna aboard here at first with nobody out. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now, three and two. Defense has got to be on their toes right here. Three, two count. Runner on first has got some serious wheels. You know he's probably being put in motion. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. And oh, strike three called as he gets a little help there. One away. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. That right there, he goes down the on strikes, basement. but he really Aussie. made that guy on the mound work Aussie. for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. So up steps Ozzy Albies. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard, and you know probably there's a fastball coming. Swings right over the top of that one, two and one. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2 and 0, oh, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. The 2 1. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Working for the punch out and the offering. Fouled off. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring Don't position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Here's Marcelo Zuna. As he'll take a look at ball one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 1 0 home is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. He's gone back to back with off speed stuff to start this AB, and neither has found the zone. He's trying to pitch him backwards, but that only works if you can get them for strikes. Now he'll probably have to challenge him. And the runner back in standing. The 2 0. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Three balls and a strike to the Braves left fielder. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. The 3-1. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Slow roller down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. 
And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Batting fifth. Not shortstop. So it's first and second with two men gone. And that brings up the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. One and one. Here it is. Swung on and missed. That's strike two. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves, only look over the hard of those 17 inches. The set and the one two. To two balls and two strikes now. Now two and two. This is the pitch where you want to attack the zone. If you go three and two, then you put the runners in motion. Two men are on with two men out. Swing and a liner. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. And the run will score as the Braves strike first, deleted one nothing. Boy, when teams are playing well like this team is on a nice little winning streak right here, they strike early in this one to keep the mojo working. Yeah, Dan, from an offensive standpoint, everyone searches for confidence, and that's exactly what they have right now. Everyone contributing makes for a fun clubhouse. The batter will be Christian Pache as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. This is exactly the situation you drew up from an offensive standpoint. Good pitcher on the mound, but you got a chance to bury him early in this one. The 0 1 offering. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold 0 and 2. Make a good pitch right here and get your offense back in the dugout after only giving up one run. Two down, runners at first and second. Now a ball rolls softly to second. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. <laughs>